Sportsman A feature will be going A feature racing this time by. Our first A feature of the night here on Precision Auto Body Night at the Rapid Speedway. Marty DeBoer, Brian Crone as we go green there up front on row number one. Leon Steller bottom feeding down low, and that's about as close as you want to get to the bottom of turns one and two. We do have a nice little burn before you jump on into the swamp, but, uh, well, you don't want to test that neighborhood here in the Rapid Speedway tonight, I don't think. Brian Crone, your current race leader. Roger DeBoer in that second spot. Marty DeBoer running in third. Here comes Leon Steller and Andy Wazorek. Andy Wazorek down low, Leon Steller up high, Marty DeBoer in the middle. Marty will hold him off off the exit of two and hang on to that third position. Steller flirting up top in turn number three. Wazorek looking to go down low. Wazorek way down low, and he's going to have to check up a little squirrely on the bottom side of turn three and four. DeBoer holding on to third, but here comes Leon Steller. Steller in the 44. Meanwhile, Roger DeBoer making a play for the race lead. Brian Crone, your race leader, the number 50 of Roger DeBoer, right on his back bumper. This uh, looking to be a two-car battle for the race lead right now as we speak. Leon Sneller will see if he can get the 44 into contention. Now that he's in that third spot, and here comes Andy Wazork. Wazorek in the number nine in fourth spot. Brandon Jurin jumping up to fifth in front of Marnie DeBoer. Brian Crone still your race leader. Roger DeBoer in second position. Leon Steller, Andy Wazorek, Brandon Jurin's your top five. Marnie DeBoer at the back of the pack. Brian Crone with the race lead. The number 14 machine of Brian Crone. He's solid each and every Friday night here at the Rapid Speedway. He's solid tonight here in the sportsman class. He is your A feature leader. The number 50 of Roger DeBoer right behind him. It's a two-car battle as the 44 of Leon Steller trying to catch up, but it looks like he just didn't have enough time. We're at halfway. Halfway this time by for tonight's sportsman A feature. Crone, DeBoer, Steller, Wazora, Jurens, and DeBoer. Precision out of body night at the Rapid Speedway. Your Sportsman A feature on the track, Roger DeBoer, a little squirrely. In turn number four, able to get that 50 back straight now, but now Leon Steller and Andy Wazorek will close the gap. Looking for that second position away from DeBoer as Brian Crone likes what he sees behind him. And the number 14 machine extending his lead. Crone with the lead, DeBoer still holding on to second. He's got a couple wild dogs behind him. In Leon Steller and Andy Wazorek. Ryan Crone, your race leader. Roger DeBoer in second spot. Andy Wazorek, Leon Sneller. They're running third and fourth. Not necessarily in that order. It's actually Sneller and Wazorek, third and fourth. Brandon Jurens running in fifth. Marty DeBoer at the back of the pack as Brian Crone clicks off another lap at the front of the field. Roger DeBoer in second position. Leon Sneller, Andy Wazorek, Brandon Jurens, and Marty DeBoer. As we fly around the Rapid Speedway, our first A feature of the night here on Precision Auto Body Night, the Sportsman A feature. White flag for Brian Crone. Brian Crone, your race leader. Roger DeBoer in second spot. Leon Sneller. Here comes Andy with Zorik like a ruptured duck. Off the top of turn number two and down the back stretch. He's making a play for that second spot. Checkers fly for the 14 of Brian Crone. Brian Crone will take home the feature win. Andy Wazorek will come home in second with a great charge on the last lap. Roger DeBoer and Brand and Leon Sneller, then Brandon Jurens, your top five. Brian Crone back in victory lane. He is your current point leader. Rapids Chiropractic, the Flower Box, and the Corner Cup sponsor car, Cooperative Energy Company. Number 14 car out of Rock Rapids. Another one of them countryside out of body and graphics, the Larchwood trophies to add to the collection for Brian Crone. Sneller Custom Harvesting and Vent Hall Repair also on that number 14 car of Brian Crone. We got Micah Johnson out there to help us present our trophy here tonight. Remember, if you are a trophy presenter here at Rapid Speedway, you not only get to give out the trophy, you get one of your own. 
trophies presented by Countryside Auto Body and Graphics for the 2016 season. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a round of applause. Brian Crone, your A feature winner. USRA Hobby Stock A feature Limzano Recyclers USRA Hobby Stocks and flag man Cody Johnson's turning them loose on the Rapid Speedway. Green flag is in the air. It's a Hobby Stock Madness through turns one and two. Everybody through a okay down the back stretch. It looks like we're through all right down the back stretch. Few cars slowing. The 17 of Matt Goth off the pace at the bottom of turns three and four. Will we complete a lap? Yes, we will. So far, Matt Goth able to keep that 17 going, and it looks like the caution will come out for the 17 machine of Matt Goth. Caution is out as the 17 makes his way into the Lyon County Chiropractic Adjustment Area. Tim Waltner on the point. In that team naked number 79 machine, as we go back to green, green flag is in the air. Three wide through turns one and two. Everybody makes it through unmolested, as we like to say here at the Rapid Speedway, and hopefully we can keep this pace going. As Waltner, your race leader, we've got one off the track in turn number three. A ways off the track is Blake Aarons in turn number three. He'll come to a stop. We'll come to a caution once again. I believe that's Blake Aarons out there. Blake Aarons off the racetrack there in turn number three. Comes to a stop. Brings out the caution. Now he'll make his way back into the racing surface. Possibly back to that Lyon County chiropractic adjustment area. USRA Hobby Stocks presented by Lem's Auto Recyclers. Two laps down as we go back to green for tonight's A feature. Tim Waldner continues to hold them off. Tracy Huliska in that second spot. Here comes Todd Ewell. Yuli in the 11T in that third position. How about Chad Lonneman making his way through the top and then through the middle. Lonneman with a nice piece of driving in the 172 L. Chad Lonneman moves up into that second position. Right on the back of Tim Walter. They're three wide behind Lonneman. He and Walter looking to separate themselves as Ewell. Haluska gets off the track down the back stretch. Tracy Haluska will come to a stop off the top of turn number three. Wait for the caution to come up. Here comes that yellow. It's time for Tracy Haluska. And we're back under caution. Believe we did get three laps down there. Tim Waltner, your current race leader, the number 79, as we go back to green, Lems Auto Recyclers USRA Hobby Stop. As Waltner continues to lead, Chad Lonneman in the 117L in that second spot. Dustin Galbranson will move up to third. Alex Wirtzma, Tommy Crock, your top five right now. As we come down to complete a lap, a little bit of contact between Waltner and Lonneman. That's a good, hard hobby stock racing right there down the front stretch. The 117L of Chad Lonneman taking over the race lead. Tim Waltner in that second spot. Dustin Galbranson at third. Tommy Crock fourth. Alex Wirtzma, your top five on the track. As Lonneman leads him, Waltner looking to come back with another 79. Chad Lonneman, Tim Waltner, Dustin Galbranson, Tommy Crock. Now Galbranson makes a play to the inside of Waltner for that second position. 
Dustin Galbranson looking down low in the number six machine. Walter high through the middle in the number 79. Both able to hold it after getting a little squirrely on the exit of turn number four. And no positions will change. Walter second, Galbranson third. And now Galbranson into the clutches of Tommy Crock. Tommy Crock in the number 15 looking to make a play for that third spot from Dustin Galbranson. Alex Wirtzman wants to get that 13X in the mix with a little bit of contact. Halfway, Chad Lonneman, your race leader. Crock and Wirtzman battling it down for fourth and fifth. USRA Hobby Stock A feature. The A feature presented by Lens Auto Recyclers. Corey Yai reeling that uh, 61 end for Nick Brady tonight. Yai making a move. He's up to seventh out of the B feature so far here tonight. He's looking for that sixth spot for the inside of Don Ewell. Corey Yai, keep an eye on him in the red, white, blue 61 end machine. He came out of the B feature and he's up to that seventh position presently. Looking to be on the move as Chad Lonneman extends his lead in the 117L. Tim Waltner comfortably in second spot for the time being. Dustin Gomez in the third time of Now it's switched by your top five. Todd Newell, Corey Guy. Corey Kelberman in the 4D. That's a Gold Branson car with a 4D right on the side of it. And how about the Tiger Hawk, the 16D of Paul Menard? Getting just behind Corey Kelderman in that uh, eighth and ninth spot, respectively. Blake Aaron's back in the top ten after going to the back of the start of the AP. Corey Yai looking for six spot to the inside of Todd Yule. No change in the top five just yet. Chad Lonneman still with that comfortable lead. Tim Walter still fairly comfortable in second position in the 79. Three, four, and five. They're all going to Dale. Dustin Galbranson, and Tommy Rock, and Alex Switzman. Problems with the 61N of Corey Yai, and he's going to have to turn in. That's unfortunate for the 61N. He had a good run going here in tonight's A feature. Chad Lonneman still your race leader. Tim Walner in second spot. Dustin Galbranson, Tommy Crock, Alex Wilson in top five. Don Yule in sixth. And Paul Menard up to that seventh spot from 15th to 7th. Involved in a little melee on lap two as well. And that 16B, that's Paul Menard. Chad Lonneman in the 117L working through lap traffic to take the white flag. Once he got out to the race lead, he set sail from the rest of the pack. And barring a disaster in three and four, he's going to take home an A feature here tonight. He's into four. He's off of four. The 117L of Chad Lonneman takes it home tonight. Chad Lonneman will take home your A feature win. Tim Waltner in second, Dustin Galbranson in third, Tommy Crock in fourth, and Alex Wirtzma rounding out your top five. Chad Lonneman back to victory lane. He comes, extended ag service. Lonneman Farms, big orbs in Uptown Adrian. Maddie King on to help us present our trophy to Mr. Lonneman. Ladies and gentlemen, he's out of the car. Give him a round of applause. Your A feature winner, Chad Lonneman. Dakota. And once again, up front on row number one, Cullen DeRider, Kevin Joachim on row one, Zach Bruner, Josh Kelderman on row two, Tyler Tesh, Ryan Walker on row three, Kurt Ollers, Dave Kennedy, row four, row five with Coulter Deitch and Chris Huseman. Those are your top ten as we start tonight's USRA B Modified A feature presented by KJ Automotive. Green flag is in the air. Dave Kennedy, Coulter Deutsch making contact. Kennedy goes around at the top of turn two. Caution flies. Caution is in the air. We get started in the B-Mod A feature tonight. 
Head flag man Cody Johnson is at the ready. He'll give them the sign. The green flag is in the air, and we're racing. Coming to Ryder off to that early race lead. Kevin Joakim in that second spot. Your front row, they are one and two. Zach Pruner in that third position. Here comes Tesh, Walker, and Kelderman. They're three wide coming off of four in a battle for position. Earlier tonight's B Mods by A The USRA B Mods presented by KJ Automotive, Worthing, South Dakota. Tesh checks up. Little contact with Walker, and now Tesh is off the track. Believe that is Tyler Tesh. Problems with the 22T, and the caution will fly for the 22T of Tyler Tesh. And now Tyler Johnson going around at the bottom of four, collecting some cars. Greg Eaton goes around. Coming to ride around the point, he will lead them back to the green flag as we sit, get set to go VMOD racing once again. Head flag man Cody Johnson at the ready. He'll give them the sign. Green flag is in the air. Going to Ryder with the race lead. Kevin Joakin in that second spot. Here comes Coulter Deitch to the inside of Zach Pruner. Deitch inside of Pruner. That's the 4P and the 5. They're side by side for third. Deitch will get the the side. And he will, but here comes Josh Kelderman. Kelderman looking inside of Pruner now for fourth position. It is the Ryder, Joakin, Deutsch, Pruner, Kelderman, your top five. An old Casanova, Thor Anderson coming up in the number 41 machine. Casanova in the number 41, that's Thor Anderson. We've got him showing six. He and Ollers side by side for that sixth spot. Now Tesh and the 12 exit with Zorik with contact in turns one and two, and the caution will fly once again for our B9 A feature. USRA B modified A feature. We're back under green. Coming to Ryder. Coming to Ryder with the race lead. Coulter Deutsch in that second spot. Zach Pruner running in third. Kurt Ollers fourth. Here comes Casanova. Thor Anderson in the number 41. Now in the top five. Josh Kelderman will battle back on the top side. Of the Nova's going to have that fifth spot, looking to take fourth away from Kurt Ollers. And now we've got Andrew Ollers around on the exit of turn one. He will collect, looks like the 18D machine that Chris gets collected by Andrew Ollers. And the caution will come out once again. Not quite five minutes. USRA B modified A feature. KJ Automotive Worthing, South Dakota, brings you the racing action. Green is in the air. Coming to Ryder out of Ruth in Minnesota, your current race leader, Coulter Deutsch, will follow him on the top side in the number five machine. They are one and two. Running in that third spot is Kurt Roberts in the number four. Anderson and Zach Pruder make up your top five presently. Anderson on the move, looking to take the third spot away from the inside of Kurt Roberts. Here comes Chris Huseman. Huseman in the number 63, moving up into that sixth position. Here comes Lyndon Johnson. Lyndon Johnson in the number 11L out of the team feature. Seventh spot, looking for, oh, we've got Kurt Ollers going around, collecting Pruner, Lyndon Johnson. Now Johnson gets a double dip from Zach Pruner. Ryan Walker going around. Boy, it was Kurt Ollers going around. Pruner and Lyndon Johnson were contacted, and then Pruner hit Johnson again. Head flag man Cody Johnson at the ready. He gives them the green, and we're back underway. Going to Ryder, your race leader, Coulter Deutsch in that second spot. Old Casanova, Thor Anderson running in third. The Ryder way up high. Deutsch will pin her down low. Deutsch looking for the lead. The Ryder holds him off. White flag is out. It's the Ryder, Deutsch, Anderson, Huseman now in fourth spot. Dan, Van Bell, and Tess. 
Cullen DeRider, your race leader. It's going to come down to turns three and four. DeRider selects up high. Deutsch will go down low. Coming off of four, Cullen DeRider, your A feature winner. Ladies and gentlemen, your B modified A feature winner out of Ruthen, Minnesota, the number seven of Cullen DeRider. DeRider Pallets, number seven car, makes his way to victory lane here at the Rapid Speedway. Wheeling around, gonna give the left side sponsors a little bit of love. The oh, left side looks brand new. Ladies and gentlemen, he's out of the car. Give him a round of applause. Your A feature winner is Cullen DeRider. Outside of him, the 7 a.m. of Mitch Dower. Inside of your ninth and final row out of Sibley, Iowa, he drives the 0-4. That is Roger Verdorn. 25 laps the distance, precision auto body stock cars. Caution light goes dark. The KJ Automotive 12th Street Auto Detailing Rapid Speedway Pace Truck pulls into the infield. We'll do 25 circuits around the Rapid Speedway. Overguard, overguard. Your Honor, Your Honor. We're going green. Cody Johnson gives him the sign. Precision out of out of USRA stock cars out on the track for 1,000 to win tonight. And it is Scott Overgaard leading Chad Overgaard. Randy Brands bombing down low. Here comes Mert Kroc. Mert Kroc running in that fourth position. Rich Gregwire in third. Keep your eye on the 32X. You always have to during these big money shows. He shows up when there's money on the line. That is for certain. Scott Overgaard, Chad Overgaard, Marlon Kroc. Working his way down into that third position. Chad Overgaard will come down for the block on Croc. Greg Wire will try to take the finish up top. They are to top four for the time being. Randy Brands running in fifth. Eric Gall with a nice run on the high side in the 22E. Scott Overgaard, Chad Overgaard, Mert Croc, Rich Greg Wire, Brands and Gall side by side for fifth with John DeBoer behind and one off the track. It turns three and four, rejoining the pack. Looks like the uh, 36 of Glenn Wienia now coming to a stop at the top of turn four as Wienia gets sideways, trying to get back onto the track. Pardon me, that's Regnerus. Regnerus, not Wienia. The caution will come out for the 32 of Justin Regnerus. Justin Regnerus off of the top of three and four. Comes to a stop off of number four. Yellow will come out. For tonight's USRA Stock Car A feature for 1,000 to win. Green flag is coming out. It's back in the air, and we're turning them loose again on the Rapid Speedway. Chad Overgaard way low. Randy Brands following suit. A little contact with Rich Gregoire. And now off the track is Gall and Ziebenbergen. We will stay under green and out. Scott Overgaard off the track at the top of turns three and four. Chad Overgaard takes over the race lead. Marlon Kroc in second spot. Randy Brands in that third position. Brands to the inside of Kroc for second position. Here comes Randy Brands. Brands in the 271, making his way into that second spot. Chad Overgaard running up high. Randy Brands in second position. He'll keep her down low. Marlon Kroc through the middle in that third spot. John DeBoer up the fourth. Matt Lang going for top five. USRA Stock Car A feature on Precision Auto Body Night. The Stock Car Shootout for 1,000 to win here at the Rapid Speedway tonight. Randy Brands takes a peek down at the bottom of turns three and four. Chad Overgaard a little too tough up top. Got that number 42 for Brands and Dubbin. Here comes Randy Brands in the 271 down low. 
side. Can he get the exit off a two? Yes, he can. That 271 or the 27, whatever your preference. It's Randy Brands off to the race lead. Randy Brands in front of Chad Overgaard. Overgaard coming back. Looking at a crossover on the bottom side. DeBoer in fourth. Now Overgaard sideways. Croc will get around. DeBoer will not. Gregwire tags the back of DeBoer and Gregwire goes around. Caution will come out. Well, Chad Overgaard getting sideways at the bottom of turn two and uh, near disaster there all around. Randy Brands will pace them back to the green USRA Stock Car A feature presented by Precision Auto Body. It's a stock car shootout and we're back under green. Everybody through turns one and two all in together now. Boy, outside of uh, positions one and two, everything up for grabs. In fact, second isn't even up for grabs right now. John DeBoer getting around Merck Croc for that second spot. Randy Brand, John DeBoer, Merck Croc working on the top side. How about EZ? Here he comes, Elijah Siebenbergen riding the rail up top in the 66 EZ. He's up to that third spot. Randy Brands, your race leader. John DeBoer in second with EZ coming. Elijah Siebenbergen working on the top side. That 66 EZ machine. He'll dip right down on the back bumper. That 27 of Randy Brands. Brands in front of Siebenbergen there. One and two. DeBoer, Croc, and Lang, your top five. Rich Gregwire looking to get back in the top five. Brands will hold on Siebenbergen for the number left. will keep her middle to high. Siebenbergen with the run off the exit, but Brands right there as well. Brands and Siebenbergen, one and two, they start to separate themselves from the third spot car of John DeBoer. Brands down low, Siebenbergen up high, easy with the pass down the front stretch. Siebenbergen takes over the race lead. Randy Brands battling back off the exit of two, and Brands is there in that second spot. John DeBoer, Merck Rock, Rich Gregwire, your top five. Brands looking to get down low here in turns three and four. Siebenbergen will hold it off for another lap. Marlon Crock, Merck working on the top side now. The number 19 looking to get around that 16. J of John DeBoer. Here comes Rich Gregwire. Gregwire down low to the inside of Crock. Looking to get to the inside of DeBoer. Halfway this time by Elijah Siebenbergen, your race leader. Siebenbergen and Brands are side by side for the race lead off the exit of two. EZ in the 66C. Here comes Randy Brands in the 27. Couldn't quite pull the slider. Didn't have enough off the exit of three. Off of turn four, it's still Siebenbergen, but Brands is right there. Randy Brands down low. Elijah Siebenbergen up high. It's a drag race down the back stretch, and Siebenbergen with the advantage right now as they head off into three. Randy Brands, real nice run into three. He'll slide up in front of EZ. Siebenbergen back down low for the crossover and a caution. Caution comes out for Dauhauer at the bottom of turns one and two. Wow. Brands and Siebenbergen putting on a show at the front of the pack here tonight for the stock car shootout. Your top five. Head flag man Cody Johnson at the ready. We're going back green. Green is in the air. Siebenbergen and Brand still one and two. Greg Wire up to that third spot to the inside of DeBoer. DeBoer back to fourth. Here comes Roger Verdorn. Roger Verdorn in the 04 flirting with the top five to the inside of Mert Kroc. Siebenbergen, Brands, Greg Wire, DeBoer, and Kroc your top five. Mert Kroc, your fifth spot car. Roger Verdorn coming. Eric Gall coming. How about uh, Scott Overgaard battling back and Matt Lang looking to get in the mix as well as Siebenbergen leads and starts to set sail on the field. We'll see if Randy Brands can come up with something in that black and green number 27 machine. He's currently in second spot. Rich Gregwire in third. Top three right now looking pretty comfortable in their respective positions. John DeBoer in fourth spot. He is the opposite of comfortable right now. He's trying to hold off Bert Kroc and Roger Verdor. Scott Overgaard and Eric Cole. 
Elijah Siebenberg and Randy Branch, Rich Gregoire, your top three. John DeBoer, Mert Kraut, your top five. And now Colby Crossan going around at the top of turns one and two. Caution will come back out. That's the caution that Randy Branch was looking for right there. Elijah Siebenberg and Randy Brands, Rich Gregoire, John DeBoer, Mert Kroc. Eight laps remain. Green flag is back out. Siebenberg with the race lead. Randy Brands has come to play. He is there in the 27. Siebenberg separates himself a little bit down the back stretch into turn three, off of three, through the middle of three and four, into four and off of four. Easy, making it look easy as he sets sail on the field once again. Brands in the second spot with Redwire running third. Mark Brock running in fourth spot to the outside of John DeBoer. DeBoer shuffled back to fifth. Verdorn, Scott Overgaard rallying from the back of the pack after he drove off the track with the race lead. Overgaard looking to get back in for a top five as Siebenberg continues to win. Elijah Siebenberg, your race leader, Randy Brands in second spot. Rick Gregoire third. Marlon Kropp and John DeBoer, your top five. Roger Verdorn in six. Here comes Scott Overgaard. Overgaard looking to the inside of Verdorn for that sixth position. Once again, Overgaard went off the track with the race lead early. Had to go to the back of the pack. He's working his way back up to the field in that number 40 machine. Nice hike at the bottom of turn 22. Still not enough to get to the inside of Verdorn. Elijah Siebenberg continues to lead as Matt Lang slows at the top of turn two. In that 84, keep it going down the back stretch. He can pull the time in. Looks like 84 will be able to get in. And Elijah Siebenberg will hold on to the race lead. No caution as Lang is back in the pit area. Elijah Siebenberg and Randy Brands, Rich Gregoire, Marlon Crock, and John DeBoer, your top five. Now Roger Redorn looking to take that first spot away from DeBoer. Four, pretty comfortable right now. Special position. John Moore in that fifth spot trying to hold off Roger, uh, Roger Redorn and Scott Overgaard for a top five. Elijah Ziebenbergen, your race leader. Comfortable lead over the 27th of Andy Brands. Comfortable in second. In front of the 32X of Rich Gregoire is comfortable in third. In front of the 19 of Bert Brown. Drivers will get the word. White flag will come out this time by. And Elijah Siebenbergen, your race leader, coming off of four to accept. Your USRA stock car is presented by Precision Auto Body, the A feature in the stock car shootout here tonight. He made it look easy. It's the 66 of Elijah Siebenbergen, your A feature winner. Elijah Siebenbergen, your A feature winner in front of Randy Brands, Rich Gregoire, Burt Croc, John DeBoer, Top three going to get some sweet trophies uh, here tonight for this A feature. Check out this trophy that Siebenbergen's going to be grabbing. $1,000 check, yeah, that's nice. But uh, check out this trophy as it comes out onto the front stretch here. He's got another A feature win to his credit here in the summer of 2016. It's Elijah Siebenbergen.